Image-based lighting, or IBL for short, is one of the various technologies that we have included with iClone 4. IBL can create realistic environmental light without overly taxing your project or resources. In this tutorial, you will learn the basics of IBL and how IBL works. Image-based lighting is basically taking one image and then bending that image into a shape of a sphere that wraps around your scene. It then generates light just like the image and directs that light inward towards the center of that sphere. And at the center of that sphere is the scene we have created in iPhone 4. So let's begin with this scene of my horse. Before using IBL, first adjust the lighting. We don't need too much of the other lighting such as directional light, spotlight, point light, nor ambient light. By default, every project has two lights, directional light and ambient. So let's turn ambient to black. Then change directional light to dark gray. We wish to keep some shadow contrast, so we'll leave this directional light on, but just with a darker color. Okay, so we are ready to add in some IBL. So let's go to Stage, then to Atmosphere. Then on the Modify panel, let's scroll down to the Image Base Lighting settings. To turn on IBL, simply click on this checkbox. Automatically, there is already one IBL image already loaded for us. Remember, IBL is basically taking one texture map and wrapping it around your scene and generating light inward towards your scene. Because of that, we can simply change this image and create new IBL, and thus change the filling of the entire project. On the templates, we can choose between several different types of IBL and sky combinations. Let me choose IBL Sunny, and notice that the sky map change and that the IBL map changed as well. Looks like a bright sunny day. Now if we change to Blizzard, notice the IBL map changed, and so did the sky. and the weather looks much colder and the lighting helps create that feeling. We can also choose IBL Horror and see how the IBL map changed and the entire feeling of the project changed based on the IBL map I had chosen. Lighting can be that effective. Let's switch to IBL Heaven and I want to show you a few ways we can enhance our IBL effects. We can add in rotation keys to our IBL maps, thus creating motion. Just move along the scrub line, then add in a rotation key. Notice when I open the timeline that a key frame has been created. So when we play back from this keyframe to this keyframe, you'll notice that the light will move across the horse. This project is a good example of rotating IBL maps. In this project, nothing is moving except the IBL map of those light spots. But you can see how this gives a feeling of moving through this cool tunnel. You can also change color and color balance. For example, I can change the colors to skew the color in one direction or another. If you didn't like the changes you made, you can press reset and the colors will change back to the previously saved setting. Also, you can change the contrast and brightness for your IBL maps here. Feel free to adjust the settings to create a darker or even brighter setting for whichever IBL map you are using. If you wish to make your own IBL map, there are a few different ways. The first is just resize your texture map you are using for your sky. See the advanced IBL tutorial to learn how to do that method. Or you can create simple texture with Photoshop or any other image processing software. I recommend using a texture size of 512x512 512 512 or 1024x1024. 1024. Anything less or greater in size 
will detract from the IBL effect. I will make a red and blue dot. Later you'll see what I plan to do with my image based lighting. But feel free to create any kind of texture for your IBL lighting. Later when I add in this IBL that I created in Photoshop, I can add in some rotation and voila! I made a crime scene setting complete with flashing police lights.